actually we need now to load the phases uh, that uh, are contained in this sample. So I recall uh, the sample was containing corundum and zirconia stabilizer with Syria. If you don't know what you have inside, you should use other program to do a search match, identify the phases inside. Or if you start with an ab initio, then you can define and look for the phase yourself. This will be probably in another tutorial. Okay, now we know we need to load some of the phases or we can define them uh, manually. Okay, in this tutorial we will see how to load them from database. For example, uh, we can load the, the corundum from, for example, uh, from a database on the net. For now, if I go, for example, here to the mouth web page, okay, uh, I can click on the mouth helper, and here there is there are some in link for some of the database containing structures that can be loaded by mouth, uh, uh, useful for the readable program. For example, a free one is the code, the crystallography.net, and we can search the database to see if the corundum is inside. So, for example, I search for the chemical composition, so I put aluminum oxide. I specify that I want just compound with only uh, two, uh, two elements, so only aluminum and oxide, send, and then I got some, a lot of these uh, phases. Okay, the core space group for uh, corundum is just uh, the trigonal one. Okay, so here, for example, we have one of these. Uh, you should look also better to, to get one uh, uh, in best publication. Okay, so you may search, uh, and I normally prefer if they are in Acta Crystallographica, for example. Okay. Or uh, if they are done, for example, by neutron or uh, uh, single crystal, okay, you should avoid all these at uh, high pressure because maybe it's not your phase unless you are looking for a high pressure phase. Okay, so and if you don't have any clue on which one to, you just try to. S download some start and check. Okay? Now, let's see. For example, we just take the first one. Physical status solidity should be okay. Uh, we can just download the uh, C file that is in a format that can be used directly by mouth. I will put it in this directory here. Let's call it Corundo, so I remember it. Save. Okay, then I just take out, uh, and also we can use the drag and drop also for the phases here, so now I recognize every phase in C format, so I can take the corundum and drag uh, over here, over phases. Okay, yes, you check uh, what there is inside, there is only one phase here, I select it and I choose, here it is, I double click and I change the name as I prefer corundum here. You, we can edit here and see the characteristic and just check if mouth was loading them correctly. So chemical formula is this one, trigonal, okay, space group was recognized, parameter, and structure here we have the oxygen and aluminum. And check here the atom type was recognized correctly. You can also get a raw plot here to see if the structure is correct. Well, I stop and I drag manually. Yes, okay. Yes, this corresponds to the, to the aluminum. Okay, let's say this is correct. Uh, I can compute and see where this corundum is going. Seems like it's actually Taking this peak, this peak here, 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 also the small one here. Okay, it seems like the corundum is a good one. 
Now the second phase is uh, the Dragonite Zirconia stabilizer with Syria. So I can also load uh, this one from a database. Uh, I can use uh, this one if I can drag and drop or use this one here or just go edit and load the C5 from database. Now, uh, if you want to load the a C5 containing phases, you should stay here under the tab phases, okay? Mouth recognize the object base or where you are. Okay, now, the tetragonal zirconia is inside here. It's not exactly the one of this example, is one very similar in composition. Uh, okay, now I have the two phases, okay, and I can compute to see if the second one is matching.